Okay, we have mail call from VW Darren. We have a little guy here, he's gonna open it up for us. That's your cue to open it. Watch your fingers. I should have done it on purpose. Okay, you're a wise guy. Yes, I am. You take it out. Is it connected? Oh. Well, I guess that's not supposed to be there. Oh, that's not good either. So there's one in down inside? That'll keep it from working. Yeah, hold on. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a peanut down in there. Something tells me he did it on purpose. Yeah. So not, he did it on purpose. No, just, so not when we get in there. It just came 1,100 miles. Be quiet. Oh, you're going to get a need in those plays? There you go. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you get this one too. Go ahead. I'm, I'm putting them down gentle. I'll put you down gentle. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to tell everybody what we got? What, are you going to ship back the plies? What is that? What? What is that material? Oh, that's when they, they cap it off in the back. They, they put like a plug in the back. Sometimes they'll put material in there so the plug doesn't walk off like epoxy. What are you looking at? I don't know. I don't see a difference. Hold on. You got it? Okay. Well, we're not doing too good out here today. Uh, okay. This is a stock 5 horsepower carburetor with the choke, the air horn, the whole whole shamu. What he sent us was a couple of modified carburetors for alcohol. Here, turn it this way. Now you see a difference? Yeah, let me hold it. Hey, now I see a difference. Now you see a difference. Oh yeah, that baby's opened all the way up. Show us where the air goes in. Okay. Now obviously the choke's been removed from this dial. This is Actually, that carburetor is more like this carburetor here, which is a, a Raptor carburetor with the plug in the back. Uh, they never really had a choke this on one, it. Was this the one that was opened up even more? Or that was that one? No, that's that, 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 that one. Hold on one second. Put that one up against it first so right. people could see the difference. I can see this is definitely opened up because my, well, I don't know where I'm pointing the camera. My finger's in there. You can see the actual passageway's been bored out there. Okay, flip it so you can see inside. Okay, you can see the size difference there. Okay. Now, that's a stock Raptor carburetor. This one here, which I never used, was, was an outlaw carburetor. And I can explain why I never used it. That one's opened up too. It's still not as much. And this mm -hmm. one here is opened up. This one. The only difference? Yeah, put them, put all three of them side by side. Yeah, wait, wait. There's only one difference between this one and that one. What? This one's been bored out a different way. Right, okay. This one has the, the internal side thing. Right, open, lay them all next to each other. Stand them up. So I could actually film it. No, no, hold them, please. That's the stock. That's the next size up, and that's all the way opened up. And the middle one, which is my carburetor, which is on an outlaw class, the reason I'm not using this, I explained it before, was the way the pickup set up. This pickup just comes up, goes to the jet, and goes in. 
I really didn't want to get involved in that. That's not the way these carburetors work. The one Darren just sent me, that's all the way opened up. Still uses the small tube and the deep tube. And the deep tube pumps it up. Are these aluminum? Uh, Why would they make them so heavy? I don't think it's aluminum. But this pumps it up to here using a little pulse jet diaphragm, puts it in a well, and then pulls it up through here. So this is the style I have. So this is what I'm gonna use on mine. So he gave us two of them. Right. Which two I forgot already. Oh, that one, the one in your hand? Mm -hmm. And this one, this is the one I'm gonna go with. This just has a clip on, right? I mean, they use like a little squeezy thing down at the bottom there. Oh, we got another one. So, you could tell the, um, what you call it? You see this carb right here? This is filled. I don't know if he filled it or it was filled. It's hard to tell. But, uh, yeah, this is what we're going to go with. We're going to work on the uh, mini bike next week. I'll put this on next week. So, because, uh, this Sunday we have a swap meet. The following Sunday we have a swap meet where we can actually ride these mini bikes around. You know what I mean? Down the aisles and in the field. So, we'll so have then it. all after that we're going to start working on the go kart. Right, then I have a week and then I'm going to do the mini bike races. So, well, what do we say, little guy? Did he get postures or is this original? <laughs> what? I'm not sure. What do we say? Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Darren. He just caused an air fight. I don't know what he means by that, but <laughs> I he, think everyone does. He's he's been very sarcastic today for some reason. So I think when I hang up the uh, video camera, I'm gonna lock him up in the attic for at least a day or two, like I did last time. Yeah. If yeah. you if you fling him up there high enough. Yeah. If I can get him up there, I can get him. I can get you up there. <laughs> Like I say to everybody at work, this old man's got one good fight left in him. You want it? I'm holding it for whoever wants it. After that, I'll be in the hospital. <laughs> but thanks again, Darren. Uh, like I said, we're in body body work mode. But after um, after this Sunday, when we do the swap meet, we'll definitely be back on this next week, uh, getting it ready for, like I said, for us to cruise around the swap meet. So we're gonna checking out all the carburetors and how they work. We'll do videos on this. You're going to see them. So thanks again.